What's going on guys? It's Tron Ninja here. Coming at you with another zombie challenge video. This time we're gonna be doing the Shadows of Evil uh marketplace and starting room challenge only. And the marketplace is basically the room that you enter after exiting the starting room, basically. These are the gobble gums we're gonna be running, and basically we can't open any doors past the marketplace. Uh, we're gonna be trying to run wall power, because I wanna try and you know, use the KRM and stuff. And we're gonna be basically training in Nero's uh, ritual room, basically. And hopefully, hopefully we can actually do this, because I'm actually trying to get to round 30 on this or more. This challenge, I, I haven't really attempted, like, to actually try, because I just never had a reason to back then. But I'm actually excited to do this one. I have no idea how good I'm actually going to do this one, because um, I don't really fare that well on these starting room challenges and stuff, so hopefully I can actually do pretty well. Hopefully we can get Pergaholic immediately, because I want Pergaholic immediately. Okay. This is always like my, my favorite looking map in Black Ops 3. I feel like they did an impeccable job with this map's looks. Also, the atmosphere of it and just in general, like stellar quality right here. Okay, I knifed that guy and he didn't die. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, fuck. One, two, three, four. There we go. Did the first one a little hasty there. Hey, I'm just gonna use the beast right now. And it's such a nerve-wracking jump sometimes when you mess it up. And then you're like, fuck. Not like I need that on, but might as well turn it on. So basically, I can't buy any of these doors beyond this point. I get this area to myself. I get the spawn room and the ritual room. That's all I get. Uh, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Oh, that's useless. I'm going back. Can't even use that, so... See, that's the, that's the thing with flavored hex, is that sometimes it'll just give you gobble gums that are, like, super good. But then it'll give you ones like this one. Like, I don't even need this one. Like, if I actually got that on like a normal mega run, like a common mega run, and I got that, I'd actually be pretty freaking hyped. But, cause like, I already have all the perks, it's just like, I can't even use that now, so. It's the only problem with that. I also, I also, I've always loved that Widow's Wine increases melee damage. No one ever talks about that. Such an underrated feature of Widow's. Come on, come on, come on. Give me, give me what I need. Give me what I need. It's either going to be near death or wall power. And of course, it's the fucking one that I don't want. Oh, uh, we're going to go fucking do this ritual now. Jesus, the amount of times, the amount of quotes that that fucking guy just said. He just said, like, fucking, like, several lines in the course of, like, two minutes. It's like, chill out, bro. Like we're fucking watching a Mr. Waffle Waffles video. Like, drink a water, bro. You're gonna fucking parch your throat if you keep talking that fast. So I think I think the the play for this game is to try and stay in here. I think the, that's the play. And basically, we're gonna be trying to set up most of our weapons from wall power. And I would have brought self med, but I don't know. I just. I'm in the opinion that self-med is fucking useless when near death in the game. Okay. Thank you. Give me that. Uh, I guess. That'll, that'll help a little bit. I mean, it'll help me get more points. So, why not? Like, Flavored Hex is such, like, a, a double-edged sword gobblegum. If I got that on, like, round, like, 
I don't know, around when I got, like, a Margwa? Oh, that would be so clutch, dude. Because then I could just kill the Margwa at my own pace. So basically, our two other weapons we're going to be trying to get packed are... RK and Shiva. So, actually... Because we need to do RK next, might as well get the Shiva now. So then when I get wall power, I can just go to the RK5 one. You have to do a lot of fiddle fucking around on the, on these uh, starting your challenge wall power. And I would use Elkar 9, but it's just like, why? Just because it's like more expensive than the other two. Okay, so should I actually hit another gobble gum, or should I wait out this uh, freaking this undead man walking see what we get uh, Let's just hope we get something actually decent Because that's the other thing uh, Because we have flavor tax we have a very high chance of getting uh, What's that fucking gobble gum called power vacuum power power vacuum and that's because uh, for some reason every time I've used flavor tax in the past uh, it, it tends to actually give you power vacuum quite a lot actually. Now what we're also going to be doing is we're going to be checking these fucking things because if we can get a prod and get a ray gun that would help so much with the margwas. Of course we'll be putting it on the third slot because we don't want to lose our main two weapons. The other nice thing about this fucking goblin gun that I got is that uh, it's making it easier to get headshots. I don't know why they didn't put dead shot on this map really random like they, they put dead shot on every other map but this one I don't know. not that dead shot is actually useful it's just a, a weird little thing that I noticed now this map has seven perks the giant has six perks and then every other one either has eight or nine so it's just like the, the inconsistency is just like wow if this is a crap gobble I'm I'm, I'm hitting for wall power again oh crap <laughs> Okay, this is actually not that bad. Ew, 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 get the fuck out of here, get the fuck out of here. Okay, that one's not bad, that one's not bad. That one's not bad. But, like, fireworks? Gross. Disgusting. I hate fucking that one. Oh, he's a big chunky boy. 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 Oh, he big chunky. Oh, he big chunky. He chunky, he chunky. Oh, oh, he's chunky. Oh, God, okay. Fucking good lord, oh, good Jesus. Could you imagine, like, if those fucking things still spawned in threes on Solo? Oh, good lord. This would be impossible. The main reason I brought fucking Flavor Hex is so then I can actually have, like, seven gobble gums in my pack, because it gives you two random ones. That's actually six, actually. Six, actually. <sighs> you get, like, one extra one. Perkaholic again? I just got you! Yeah, no, I'm not- I'm not packing this thing. This thing is not it, dude. It's fucking recoil central. Can't even aim the damn thing. Yeah, I don't get that sometimes. Like, you go to knife a zombie and it doesn't do anything. Wall power. You need that. I'm actually surprised that we got like half my setup already done. Head trauma. The fuck, dude? This thing doesn't have. These things don't have heads. You give me head drama? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, watch this. It's it's gonna vanish. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Most useless blue gobble gum in the entire game. Holy shit. Come on, don't give me crap shit. Give me good shit. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, good. The Shiva can wait. Now we're gonna run up to the fucking, uh... Thing. I'm gonna grab this real quick. The Shiva, I can pretty much run anything on the Shiva. To be honest, like, I could run turned on it if I really wanted to. But I don't know if I'm actually going to. Ooh! Ugh, the, the, the fucking name of the pack up on Shiva. Ugh. That is some type of fucking innuendo. I'm not even gonna say that name. It's gonna be interesting because I'm actually like 
Like, I know there's only been like one Margo so far, but when the Margo starts spawning more often, it's gonna be interesting to see how I'm gonna actually survive. I'm gonna be more trying to use flavor text though to see if I can get a power vacuum. And our goal is to get to round 30. Any more than that is if I just want to do more. Oh, where is he? Oh, big chunky. Oh, big chunky. Big chunky. He's right there. Hello, big chunky. Okay, I gotta be extremely careful training big chunky. Come on, big chunky. Which is why I'm running the KRM, by the way. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fucking. Oh, Jesus. Ain't Lord. Oh, Jesus. I there's smoke. Oh, God. Die, big chunk. That's the thing that sucks about the pods. Is that if you have wall power and you grab a weapon from that, you can't pack it. I really wish they allowed you to do that. I can't even use that, man. That's fucking clickbait. Fuck, dude. We only have two pods left that aren't purple. I only take near death if I actually need it. I don't, I don't even know why I actually even brought it to, to begin with, actually. It probably would have been better if I just brought self med because I wasn't going for super high rounds, anyways. Foul demons! What the fuck are you doing? Oh Jesus H Lord! The max ammo is on this fucking map with the fucking the bugs and the meatballs are really weird. Because they don't always come down to you, and the meatballs especially if they like, jump to get them. Which is really annoying. <laughs> gimme that, gimme that, gimme that, gimme that. Hurry, 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 hurry. Really, bro? Really? Really, bro? Why are you gonna do me like that? Why are you gonna do me like that? That's not cool, man. You gave me unquenchable once. This is this is what this is what sucks about flavor text. Is it gives you a bad gobble gum that you can't use. You can't get the other fucking. So you pretty much just wasted like two gobble gums within one use. That's some sag. Let's say what's taking this turn zombie to kill you so long. Oh, I should be actually going down there. Fuck. I don't know why I came up here. While we're doing that. Nope. I might want to take that though. Bootlegger. That's a useless part. Can't even use it. I'll take it anyway though, because I don't want to fucking see it keep it respawning all the time. This this is what turn is really useful for. You, you use like multiple weapons. See in a tight room like this, turn would be really useful in. Cause like all the barriers are like on the edges of the room. Okay. Of course, it's gonna be useless against the Margwa, but you know it'll help get rid of those fucking pesky zombies while I'm trying to deal with them. So fucking piece of poop! Die, you poopy head! You stinky fuck! You tentacle wearing prune? <laughs> yeah, that's right. This is why I use the KRM, bro. KRM is life. Where the fuck did that come from? Die, Marguini! Go spread some Polini! Oh, Jesus, H Lord! It's, okay, okay. Something I can actually use, holy shit. That's what the near deaths are really gonna be useful for, is getting rid of those fucking Marguas. For now, I'll use it, but I'm gonna try and get flavored hex again, and hopefully, I don't get dicked by another unquenchable or a gobble gum that I can't even use. I think we might go actually higher than 30, because we're almost we're almost like round 20, bro. <sighs> Pretty much after this point, the only reason we're gonna be coming down here is for wall weapon ammo, or near death, or flavored hex, or if we're training a margwa. That's the third reason. Yeah, get get him. Get him, turn zombie. Get those fucking smelly fuckers. I'm actually surprised how fast we're getting through the rounds, though. 
We might actually go to around 40 or 50, actually. Flavored hexed. Yes, okay. Gimme, 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 come on. Yes! Okay, 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 okay. That'll be very useful for when we uh, deal with a Margwa. See, th these are the gobble gums that I need. Things that can help me kill things. I'm not really trying to keep the Widow's wine grenades either, because, like... To be honest, I've kind of grown to, to dislike this perk. It just... The hordes that get hit by it... Yes, the, it saves you from them hitting you. But most of the time, if anything, it just fucking creates a giant ass fucking obstacle in your way. So, like... Dealing with Widows on, like, Varrock is, like, super fucking annoying. This, this gobble gum will also be useful if I have to go get ammo. Ooh, try, nice try, Mr. Zombie. 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 Get him! Get him, turn zombie! Get him! Like, when you combinate turn with dead wire and then a Thunderwall shotgun, like, that's when you can really abuse turned. And the nice thing is, we can also use the beast mode twice because there's two fountains in the available areas that I have as like in plain sight thingies if I need to escape. <laughs> oh, big chunky, big chunky, big chunky, big chunky, big chunky is here. Oh no, big chunky, big chunky, big chunky, big chunky. Oh, he's big chunky. Oh, he's big chunky. Oh, he's big chunky. Oh, he's big chunky. Oh, big chunky, big chunky. Oh, lads, I need a piece of the scene. Oh, I need a piece of the scene, lads. Oh, big chunky. Bad big chunky. Like, you forget how big that fucking guy is until you get close to him. And it's like, oh, good Jesus. It's like a fucking semi with legs. But you know that feeling when you're trying to cross the street and you're in town, you're trying to get to the grocery store or something? And then you see that one big-ass truck coming down the road, and you're like, I don't really want to cross the street with that thing going across, dude. That's what I feel like when I see that motherfucker. I don't want to cross the street when I see that fucking thing. Like, that's that's why I always give, like, the big trucks the the yield. Because, like, I'm terrified of, like, getting squished by one of them. It's, like, one of my biggest phobias. I don't know why. It's just one of those things that just, like, I cannot get over. It's like, because, like, this one time I was, like, riding this fucking bike down this super icy hill in the winter. Worst idea ever, by the way. Do not fucking repeat what I just did. Um, I was going down a hill on a bike in the winter because I was just like, fuck it. I want to I wanna try and bike. I want to get some exercise because I'm tired of sitting in the house. I, I bike down the hill. My bike's... My brakes don't work when I'm trying to get to an intersection. And I see this big ass boy, this big ass bus, coming at me super fast. And I'm like, oh fucking Jesus Ace Lord. I am going to die. I am going to die a big ass pancake underneath a fucking goddamn. Uh, fucking bus tire. And somehow. Out of the, the fucking sheer miracle of me just being me, somehow I live. It's like the most crazy shit of all time, dude. Oh, Ooh, no, I'm dead. What? The gobble. Excuse me, what? The gobble gum activated, but it didn't activate. The go Ladies and gentlemen, the gobble gum activated, but it didn't activate. I'm dead. Nope. Mm, I'm annoyed. Uh, I should have dashboarded. Next time, next time, yeah, next time. Next time. I am dashboarding. I just lost a perkaholic. Goddamn near death. 